Hi guys! We're going to be making some white chocolate dipped strawberries tonight. Here you can see from the enormity of everything on my countertop here that there are quite a few supplies and I'm actually just going to be making some basic white chocolate dipped strawberries. Sometimes when I make the multicolored strawberries I have a lot bigger mess. You notice that there's a lot of these berries that the this batch here the tops uh, especially like this one here it is still pretty green so it's not completely red you want to make sure that the berries that you're picking out of your batch are the nice red berries uh, that they don't have any kind of blemishes on them I know that there are a couple like this berry here see there's a little little brown spot on it and you won't be able to cut out anything from the berry and then dip it into the chocolate because the moisture that would be oozing from that berry will actually bleed through the chocolate and make a mess all over everything. You don't really want to do that if these are going to be on a table or um, a gift for someone. I, I like to use the ones that have the, the nice green top. Um, this one actually has a stem on it whereas most of them don't in these berries that I got from Smart and Final or even if you get them at Walmart or whatever grocery store you're getting them from. I just want to show you when you're doing this um, be sure that you're kind of gently patting and then you want to be sure you get the top but also the underneath of the leaves and I'm just kind of turning it around lifting up those leaves as you're rinsing these off you'll also want to get up under the leaves because um, you just want to be sure that there's no moisture left up under there and just pat it dry there's some that are not going to have as pretty leaves that you like, but you know, it's okay. As, as long as the berries are clean and you do try to select the prettiest berries, you know, you're not going to be able to get all perfect berries unless you buy a whole lot of containers and you do a lot of sorting through um, those berries from the store. Um, this one is pretty, it's mostly red, so I'm going to go ahead and use that one. But as I said earlier, if you've got one, like say this one, it's mostly uh, green on that side and that's not going to be a very sweet strawberry so I'm going to put that in my Monica bowl. But once the strawberries dry then you're going to begin dipping them into chocolate. You're going to want to set these berries once they've been dipped in chocolate onto some sort of a, a platter that's got some wax paper lined on it. I'm just using Reynolds cut right wax paper. Uh, you could also use a cookie sheet uh, if you wanted to do that and just put your wax paper on top of the cookie sheet. The uh, chocolate melting pot that I have, I actually bought this at Joann's a couple of years ago and I used my 40% off coupon but when I went there they actually had these on sale for 50% off. They're normally $39.99 and I got it for 50% off at that time. Now you can check your Joann's or Michael's or maybe even Hobby Lobby might have that to see if they have a sale running in which case you would not have to use your coupon. However, if you are an educator or a teacher, be sure to remember to use your 15% discount so that you can get that off of whatever the sale price is or if you do have a 40% off coupon, you still get your educator's discount. I'm just going to open these bags of the Wilton chocolates. I'm using the white. They have um, several flavors and also several colors. They even have, if it's Christmas time and you think you might want to do mint, they have a white disc with a peppermint flavor and then they also have like a um, mint green color also in the mint flavor but for my purposes doing the strawberries I don't think strawberry and mint go very well together I'm just going to use the plain white and these are uh, 12 ounces of the Wilton discs I like to use that when I'm uh, um, using my melting pot the Wilton chocolates tend to have less wax in it than your regular chocolate bars that you would get in the grocery store or in the baker's section. Instead of on the warm setting, I'm going to turn it all the way over to melt because that's what we want these to do. The um, These discs, we would like them to melt so that we can pour our chocolate in. And I usually just pour half the bag in at first and then I work the rest of them in. If you don't have a nonstick spatula, uh, those the silicone spatulas, then you could actually uh, put just a little bit of Crisco on your spatula 
Um, just make sure it's soft if you're using this pan or this, this pot rather because you don't want to scratch the surface of your, your pot. But um, you also want something that you're, you wouldn't want to use a wooden spoon because the chocolate would just completely cake up. Like this wood here, it would just cake up in the grooves of the wood. I wanted to show you as I'm stirring the chocolate here <clears throat> to melt it, you want that glassy consistency. If you notice when you turn your, your warmer uh, from the melt down to warm, if your chocolate starts to sort of clump up and it's not this nice glassy look, then it's actually starting to harden up on you. So just go ahead and put it back over to melt instead of keeping it on warm because you want the chocolate to stay nice and glassy while you're working with it, trying to get it melted and also while you're working with it to get onto your strawberries. I'm using some Christmas holiday sprinkles with the red, white, and greens. And you can do it a couple of different ways. I went ahead and poured some into some little containers, some, some small bowls, or some dipping sauce dishes. They work well for this type of thing. Because the way that I like to do my strawberries is I get a hold of the green stem with my fingers, it's more manageable for me to do that than try to poke the um, the chocolate fork into it to dip because you don't want the ooze of the strawberry to come out. So I just go ahead and grab the tops, the green tops, and then I'm going to dip it into the chocolate and I'm going to bring it to these dipping stations here is what I'm calling them. Uh, but I'll just kind of get a light sprinkle of these multiple candy. You want to have a light sprinkle on your chocolate. You don't want it to be so crunchy that someone's teeth are going to break off as soon as they try to bite into the strawberry because of too many of these little candies, but you do want it to have a light splash of color for the holiday season. You want to be sure, one, that there is not any water up under the leaves, so at this point they should be thoroughly dry. And you want to be sure that there's not any blemishes you know, any open sore areas where strawberry might be seeping through because any kind of liquid or moisture does not work well with the chocolate. It will actually um, cause balls to form in your chocolate. You'll have to throw the entire batch of your chocolate out because it'll just be unmanageable. You want to leave the red top there. When you've um, dipped your strawberries in, just turn it upside down. That way any of the excess will kind of fall back on itself. Those little balls, they like to go everywhere, just so you know. You can also use your wax paper to kind of help yourself out in the event that you're having a chocolate catastrophe. You keep your fingers, your hands clean during this whole process. It's best to try to keep your strawberry over your sprinkle station because whatever sprinkle doesn't land on your strawberry is going to go right back into your bowl, in theory. You can tell that um, you know there a lot of them are not perfect, but that's okay. If we were selling these to make you know some money or whatever, we'd want them to be as close to perfect as we could possibly get. You want to try to get the chocolate most of the way up the strawberry, but just try to leave a hint of the strawberry so that you're not just looking you know at the at the rind is what I call it but it's not really just be sure that you try to cover at least most of the strawberry some people do like to have an inch of the strawberry in the red you know very little of the chocolate maybe just halfway up I like to go most of the way up to the top As you can see these are all white I didn't dip them in any of the sprinkles or sprinkle any of the sprinkles shall I say and they're not perfect either but they are still pretty 
and these are the ones I'm not going to take to the event just simply because most of them had a lot of green still on the top. So my husband and I will be enjoying these particular strawberries. But what I'm going to do now is just take these trays and put them into my refrigerator and let them finish just cooling down so that they can set. I mean, you can decorate strawberries any way you like. I've made those tuxedo strawberries and uh, wet, the wedding dress strawberries. Wedding dresses didn't turn out as cute as the tuxedos did, but uh, you can color these for any themes, uh, baby showers. These are great gifts for friends and any holidays, just whatever occasion you feel. Or if you just want to have some chocolate dipped strawberries. I mean, why not? Another great way to decorate your strawberries is um, to just take some of your multiple colored chocolate discs, I'm using those Wilton discs, and drop about 20 to, uh, about 20 to 24 in your bottles. I got these little bottles at Michael's. They were in a two pack for $2.29. And I also used my 40% off coupon because I am coupon savvy that way. I am just waiting for the water, which I have on the lowest temperature uh, for the water because you don't want to melt your plastic, but it is safe to put these um, plastic bottles in a very low, warm, kind of like a, um, a bath for your chocolate. Uh, you, of course, you don't want to get the water into the chocolate because then it will beat up and turn waxy and it just won't be a good consistency. So do not allow your bottles to fall over in the pot. Also, when you're um, squishing it around, just be sure that you're kind of careful not to splash the water that's on the bottom of your bottle onto the lid of your other bottle because then it could drip down into the bottle inadvertently and that would be bad. And I'm kind of periodically squeezing it around, just smushing it so I can get a um, smooth consistency. And then I'll be able to use these colors to accent the strawberries. Um, I'm going to do the base color as white and then just have the blue and green with the pretty little squiggly lines across them. That's just an easy way to do it. You can also do it with a toothpick, but it takes a lot longer. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and um, I'll post a, a shot of the final um, strawberries when they're not sitting on this wax paper after they've completely cooled down so that you can see it devoid of all the, the sprinkles that just kind of laying on the wax paper. But hope you enjoyed it and good luck to you and whatever strawberries that you decide to, to make. I'm sure yours will probably look a lot better than mine. <laughs> this batch. So good luck to you and happy holidays.